subscribe aim aim i and get the latest technological updates every day also press this bell icon so you won't miss any of my latest videos hey guys welcome back to aim aim i so in this video guys we are going to differentiate the two heat treatment processes that is annealing and normalizing so guys in this iron carbide equilibrium diagram we have uh, this austenite austenitic region and we started getting this austenitic region after 910 degrees celsius that is above 910 degrees celsius so guys in the heat treatment processes first the steels are heated above austenitic temperature okay so austenitic temperature that is nothing but the 910 degree celsius means above 910 degree celsius and it is the next one it is cooling so after heating the cooling step uh, cooling is the next uh, procedure so cooling from the austenitic temperature to room temperature so guys this cooling is having two types that is first one is cooling within the furnace by turning the switch off by turning off the furnace and the second one is the cooling is outside of the furnace that is cooling at the room temperature so guys cooling within the furnace which is carried out mainly in the procedure of annealing heat treatment so guys this is the annealing heat treatment that is cooling within the furnace and cooling outside of the furnace is nothing but the normalizing process so guys that is the first point of while differentiating this annealing and normalizing so the first point is the cooling is carried out in within the furnace so it in case of annealing while in case of normalizing that is cooled outside of the furnace so guys the next one is the rate of the cooling is very slow in case of annealing while the rate of the cooling is very is uh, you know moderate in this normalizing process so guys uh, <coughs> we have this uh, first second and the third three images shows the uh, different characteristics of the material such as the hardness first one this shows the hardness second one shows this uh, tensile stress so we can call it as tensile strength also and the third one it shows the toughness so guys what is hardness so guys hardness is nothing but the resistance to penetration where what is tensile strength so tensile strength shows us the percentage elongation okay guys and last one is the toughness toughness is nothing but the resistance to bending so guys this mechanical properties gets enhanced in cooling but it is less hardness tensile strength and toughness whereas we have got more hardness tensile strength in toughness in case of normalizing guys austenitic austenite is transformed into coarse perlite in case of annealing whereas austenite is transformed into medium perlite so what is coarse and medium let's understand so guys this is the three categories showing the coarse medium and fine so we have got this coarse in case of annealing that is the output after annealing and we have got this medium perlite that is nothing but the output after doing the no carried out the normalizing process so guys uh, next one is the grain size is more uniform in case of annealing whereas the grain size is less uniform in case of normalizing so guys from this image we can clearly see this the uniformity in the grain size that is coarse in case of annealing and medium in case of normalizing large grains size we have obtained in case of annealing and in case of normalizing we have got this small grain size so as which is shown over here so this is so guys in annealing there are different uh, types of annealings okay whereas in normalizing uh, there are no such types of normalizing this is only the normalizing is the only process there are no such categories so guys thank you for watching my video i hope you understand the difference between the annealing and normalizing thank you guys for watching this